Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to create an SMB Samba share on Open Media Vault. First, navigate to your Open Media Vault dashboard homepage, whatever you want to call it. Log in and then head down to shared folders. Now, we are going to want to create a folder. So first, we're going to name it. What do we want it to be called? We'll just call this test or whatever. Then we're going to choose the folder we want it or the drive, sorry, device we want it on. And the path will be shown here. If you already have a folder created, you can go ahead and select it in here. You don't have to. Um, then, in my case, I'm going to set this to everyone read write because I don't really have any important stuff on here. So we're going to click save. Then we have test. So, it's not referenced currently. Then we need to click apply. Okay, so after you've clicked apply, we're going to head down to SMB slash CIFS. Now, if it's not clicked, if enable isn't checked or green here, you're going to want to click on it to enable it, and then click save, and go up here and click apply. I already have it enabled. If you want this to be browsable through the um, network tab on Windows or whatever it is on Ubuntu, uh, you check uh, browsable. You can really play with the rest. It's, it does a decent job of explaining it. So then we're going to head to shares. Yeah. <laughs> So then we're going to choose our shared folder. We can do this drop down arrow, arrow or if you have a bunch, you can t start typing it and it should auto complete. So then I'm going to set this to guests allowed. Um, and then we want to set or enable permission inheritance. So that means any new files and folders will get the same permissions that are applied to the rest of, or to the base folder. So yeah. So now we're going to click apply. If we quick pop open file explorer here, you can see that my only two folders, Eximius, but it's probably pronounced wrong, Roma and Plex are the only ones that show up. But if we wait for this, okay, now we hit refresh, we have test and we can copy files to it. I don't really have any files to copy to it. Hmm. That's fine. We'll just no. We'll just copy this. So you can see it's pretty simple. You can also enable like recycle bins and other stuff. You can really just play around with it. It's not super hard to figure out beyond this. So thank you for watching this video. Hope it helped you. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Goodbye.